Today, New York City's Consumer and Workers Protection Department issued an emergency ruling about price gouging. As residents are dealing with the coronavirus crisis, Nate Rogers demanded answers from three stores where a city commissioner tells us she believes consumers are being taken advantage of. Bill, that rule now in effect makes it illegal for stores to increase prices by 10% or more compared to what they charged before the outbreak. Now take a look at what we found right here in Jamaica, Queens, inside this convenience store on Hillside Avenue. A 19-ounce can of Lysol disinfectant spray marked at $14.99. Target had it online for $5.99. When did you all up the okay. prices? Sir, I have no ID for that one. Another store on Hillside, a 12.5 ounce can of Lysol disinfected for $9.99. At Target, the same item, $4.19. I'm just trying to understand why it's so expensive. I what? don't know. You can talk to somebody. Here again inside the store on Sutphin Boulevard, $12.99 for a 10 ounce bottle of Purell hand sanitizer. Walmart advertises it for $2.50. I Again, I'm not sure you would have to talk to the general manager and I would not like to be a reporter right now. So. Okay, no problem. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, none of the business owners returned our calls for comment, but all of their employees blamed local wholesalers and distributors saying they're the ones hiking the prices and they are to blame. Now, after we reported this information to the state attorney general's office and to consumer affairs they both tell us they are now investigating uh the prices uh sound ridiculously high for the items um i think consumers uh very familiar in their communities for what items sell for so this strike me as uh in violation of our rule let's stay store we can't what else can we do we have no choice they're trying to take advantage knowing that people are struggling right now People are trying to put food on the table and they want to keep their home clean. Now, price gouging is illegal in both New York City and New Jersey. Commissioner Salas says they've received a number of complaints for other businesses suspected of gouging and have issued violations. Some stores being fined up to $500 per item. Now, you at home can report higher than normal prices to the Attorney General's Office and Consumer Affairs by email or on social media. More information, of course, on my Twitter page at Nate Wants to Know. In New York, I'm Nate Rogers for Chasing News.